Well, to talk something more on the issue, uh, we have Srihari from Vijeta School. Let's have a conversation with him. Hello, Srihari Garu. Hello, sir. Sir, as COVID cases are increasing day by day, sir, do you think it's necessary to reopen schools right now? Sir, uh, COVID cases are increasing, sir, day by day. And the government is uh, planning to get to reopen schools right now. So, do you think it is a right decision of the government, sir? No, that means uh, we are uh, having good health. That's okay, but uh, it is increasing day by day. So, at least one month after it is opening like that. In one month, sir. So, uh, after one month. After one month. Yeah. So, directly, like, how are you planning to reopen your school, sir? I don't know. Yeah, Corona means it is not at all uh, uh, end. Yeah. So, uh, one month means uh, that's. Uh, uh, private schools also 100% Corona testing is must. Those who are coming to school students. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. I'm not about to be anything. I'm not going to be able to do Okay, Andy. Corona testing is not going to be able to do it. I'm not going to be able to do it. Okay. So, uh, requirement is not going to be able to do it. Sorry, my voice is cut out, madam. Sir, what will be the requirement to reopen the school Sunday? <laughs> students, uh, students, can schools ki gaane, what would be the requirement uh, to reopen the schools? And uh, students, how they will be benefited to re after opening the school? So, so actually, students, if they, they, they didn't come to school, they can't understand what uh, uh, now online classes, they can't understand. The school opening is also nice, but COVID test is must, uh, what I am saying. Okay. So, sir, are you allowing complete strength at a time or are you planning in phases uh, or in groups? This means afternoon session. Okay. Hello? Yes, sir. So, how are you planning it, sir, in uh, groups? Why is cut off, madam, maybe? Uh, uh, yes, sir. Am I clear now, sir? Yeah, yeah, madam, why is not uh, this? Uh, sir, am I clear now, sir? Yeah, yeah, now okay. Yeah. So, sir, uh, how will students be benefited and then uh, in what manner we are opening, sir? Like uh, per class, we might be having at least 30 students. And uh, we will be having uh, 30 student capacity of uh, uh, bench and seating arrangements for the students. But uh, yeah. with the social distancing measure, uh, it is difficult for us to allocate 30 students in one single room. So how are you planning yeah. the seating arrangements and uh, uh, what is your plan, sir? It is only bench, each bench one, one member, okay, one corner. Another bench, another corner. It's a three feet distance only, three or four feet. Okay. So, government is saying six feet. It is uh, uh, highly impossible to run like that. True, sir. Exactly true. So, how you are planning six feet distance, sir? Then, if are we... Yes, only, to... only 15 members in classroom, one classroom. Only 15 members in one classroom? Yes, yes. Because now only 9th and 10th means so we are having that much of rooms. Mm -hmm. And also staff members is also available. Okay. Uh, sir, then how uh, this uh, will be maintained throughout the day in the educational institutions like schools? Because six feet distance is something if we plan 15 students per day and if you have a strength of 16, 60 students in class uh, and yeah, how are you 
try uh, planning to allocate the other students sir yeah, for, uh, that means we are having a uh, lot of rooms now okay. because uh, nursery and kg kg up to 8 plus there is no school Achha. that is why we are planning only 15 members per class okay class. that is a good thing sir like if it is only 15 uh, students per classroom i guess uh, parents will also feel uh, secure to send their children to school and i believe yeah, so yeah. every day 10th class is going on every day no yes sir yes sir. yeah that is why we are planning four sections that's great sir. that's really a good initiative from your school sir and uh, sir yeah. uh, if there are any policy changes being considered to reduce uh, covid-19 transmission risk in your school other than this social distancing yeah social distancing is not now yeah, other than this, what are the other rules you are following in your schools to control the COVID transmission, sir? We are utilizing bathrooms uh, each two members. Okay. And also praying day, day after day. Okay. Classrooms. Mm -hmm. And we are giving you uh, sanitizing. Sanitizing, okay. Sir, if the yeah. compulsory mask rule is applicable in the classroom, sir? Yeah, yeah, 100%. Okay. Mask is No, mask also mask. Okay, sir. So, uh, okay. the students who have disabilities are likely more susceptible to more serious health complications. And uh, yes, I mean, we are using uh, heat, uh, this one also, and pulse up. Okay, sir. Uh, temperature checkup. Yeah. Yeah which is necessary for students to understand their uh, health issues. It is also a really appreciable thing which you are following, sir. And uh, there are uh, few students who are having uh, certain health complications and few also will be having uh, disabilities also. And uh, we are more prone to contact with COVID-19. Then uh, what can be done for such students with disabilities? Are we allowing uh, those students to classroom or are we requesting them to attend the online classrooms? In our school there is no disabilities uh, people. Mm -hmm. So we are not having any problem. Okay. Okay. Sir, if only uh, uh, the school gets reopened, are we uh, going to... Uh, present the classrooms in the traditional classrooms only or also if you are presenting in uh, uh, online classroom too? Sir, if you are, sir, actually if uh, uh, the schools are reopened, I just would like to know if you are continuing only in the classroom, the traditional classroom process. Or along with the traditional classroom process, are we also going to continue online classes simultaneously? No, no, continuously. Okay. Only up to 1.30. Only up to 1.30? Uh, yeah. Okay. So, uh, the other part is uh, in this COVID crisis, the measures to uh, clean and infect, disinfect the classrooms and the surroundings and also the playground and includes, uh, yes. So how are you uh, taking measures to uh, get sanitized all your uh, school premises, surrounding school premises and parking places? Are we allowing students to get their cycles and all, sir? Yes, the cycles is also there, but uh, daily we are sanitizing your cycles. Okay. And also classrooms. Yes, sir. And how about the playground, sir? Playground means uh, we are not using now. Okay. Uh, so after this uh, school reopening, this time, uh, what will yeah. be the recess uh, timetable for the students? And uh, do you think students should participate in this uh, uh, extracurricular activities like uh, we conduct several games and competitions in the schools? and in the do yes, indoor sir. classrooms. So how these are going yes. to take place in the classroom, sir? The no, extra curricular activities now is banned okay. because of COVID-19. Yes, sir. Uh, also, ground also we are banning. 
Okay. Uh, because uh, if uh, one student also get uh, like COVID, uh, it is spread. Hmm. So that is why we are not planning about uh, co-curricular activities. Well, that's great, sir. Only daily, only four subjects going on. Four teachers, four classrooms. That's great, sir. So, uh, if your school have all the in infrastructure facilities to maintain that uh, uh, everything in a balanced way, sir? Yeah, yeah, 100%. We are having everything. So, then how are you, how uh, uh, parents of your school students are reacting to uh, reopening of school, sir? No, only 50 members are coming. No, 50% uh, students only coming. Okay. Parents are not uh, interested to send uh, every student. That's true, sir. That is happening. Of, uh, COVID. Yeah, that is happening. So, for them, yeah. how are you trying to, uh, how are you trying to convince them to send their students to school? And no, no, no. Parents are, uh, parents willing only we are taking. Because if anything happens, that will become to uh, management. Exactly. So that is why we are not uh, asking, uh, we are not pressuring them. Okay. Those who are interested, uh, they then only come to school. Okay. So for the students who are sitting at home, are we providing them any online classes, sir? Yeah, we are providing online classes, but students are not understanding because up to now there is no online, they don't know how to utilize the phone also. Hmm. So they can't understand because directly when we are teaching, then only they can understand. That's true. So lower class students, how uh, they will get uh, knowledge uh, about that. And also, our parents are not uh, getting net and uh, also smartphones they, do, they didn't have. Okay. So it will be nearly 20,000 uh, if we are getting one mobile with a uh, smartphone 20,000 and also 5,000 rupees or 3,000 rupees internet. True, sir. So that it is be impossible to bring, to take uh, online classes now. But everywhere uh, we could uh, observe that online class system is growing. So if yeah. this uh, online system, online classes, online uh, uh, everything digitally era which continues, what kind of impact can be seen on traditional classrooms, sir? Yes. Traditional classrooms is only nice. True, sir. For students, so say. They can understand at least uh, one or two times if we are in teaching. One or two times, they, if uh, any problem, they can ask. But the online classes means uh, they can't understand. They can't understand, they can't ask. This, this is the main problem. True, sir. And now coming to the transport facility, how are you providing yes. transport facility for your students? Before uh, uh, we could catch up all the students from certain area, but with, uh, yeah. with this social distancing and the physical distancing measures because of COVID, it is also difficult for us to maintain distance and get students at a time from areas. So how are you yeah, handling transport? Uh, it is highly system? impossible to stop their uh, students. Correct. Because you, we can understand what is COVID, but uh, the students are, uh, they are going to near by the school. Uh, they can't understand uh, how much it is severe. True, sir. That is also main problem. We are arranging teachers. Lower class teachers are we are having available. So we are uh, this, uh, social distance. Each student, when they are going to home also, we are saying to them, don't talk with others, don't touch others. Okay. True, sir. Exactly that is happening. Uh, yeah, yeah. When we talk about uh, poor background students who are yeah. unable to afford to be online classes, uh, what yeah. do you have to say about them? Like how difficult for them it would be when so we turn digital? Madam, because uh, one thing, uh, here at home two students is there. So one is sixth class, one is uh, eighth class. True. So they are not giving uh, two cell phones. At the time, 
and also parent need one phone. Three phones means it is highly impossible uh, uh, for running online classes. So we are dropping the online classes. So we can't uh, run. True, oh, sir. Exactly. So, uh, as a management, uh, if we ask you to choose traditional classrooms or the online classrooms, uh, I understand that you will be preferring uh, a traditional classroom. So, then how about the students who are willing to attend online classrooms, sir? Yes, okay. well, so, you are having that much of capability in uh, online classes, but uh, uh, those are poor. observe little COVID cases showing a slight drop in number but still parents are uh, not uh, reluctant to send their children to school saying the government should not rush reopening them. So uh, what do you say about reopening of schools completely and the decision of the government to reopening schools in the short span, uh, how this will uh, affect the students and their health sir? It is, uh, I think maybe this year up to uh, vaccine came, hmm. up to that we must close the school. Okay. Because it, it is, uh, we can't stop children. True. That is why uh, I think maybe my, my opinion is like that uh, we must up to January, we must stop school. Yes sir, that is always there. And sir, if in case in a short span, if we try to open the schools, what kind of medical facilities schools are planning no, to sorry, provide sorry, to the yeah, students? No. Why is cutting, madam? Yeah, yeah. Sir, in a short span, if we are trying to reopen the schools, what kind of medical facilities that we are trying to provide to the students who are joining back so to classrooms? How, how, uh, how, how much medical facilities we are going to provide to them? Exactly. How far? We, uh, we can't because all are saying memo, this kind of memo, that is highly impossible. Each member uh, daily made new medical medical test and also heavy sanitizing. We are providing rooms. It is highly impossible. Okay. It, in private institutions, it is uh, something we will take care. But in uh, government schools, how it will uh, improvement? Also, we are giving food. These all are also not good. That is always there. But whereas the uh, the parents of the students who are sending their students to the school, uh, they are definitely demanding certain health facilities madam, for the uh, students. Why is cut out, madam? Why is cut out, madam? Uh, am I clear now, sir? No, no, no. Cutting. Yeah. Uh, why is cut out? Hello, sir. Hello. Am I clear now, sir? Is my voice clear now? Yeah, 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 now. Yeah. So, uh, when we explore different methods of teaching in the pandemic, uh, the yeah. students always uh, uh, gives a thumbs up for the activity-based learning. But where in this pandemic, uh, it might not be possible for us to provide activity-based learning because we have to cut short the activities in the classroom in terms to cut short the transmission. So, how are we uh, switching the teaching methods from uh, activity based learning to uh, theory classroom? So how are we handling it, sir? It's right to like uh, WhatsApp classes is enough to them. Uh, no classes. Okay. Because if they are having only one phone, they can utilize one hour, one hour, they, they can distribute. Hmm. So, WhatsApp classes is only the right thing because those are poor students, poor families. Okay. So we are running like that. So, uh, sir, do you have any percentage of students who are unable to attend the online classrooms in your school? Only 10%. Okay. 10% students from your school are unable to attend online classrooms. Yes. So, how students are trying to 
Uh, teach them how they are helping in their studies uh, from your school, sir. What is your, uh, what is the role of uh, your school teachers in um, ensuring students get learned? No, they are uh, not understanding online classes. Yeah. They are teaching. They are teaching directly. Okay. So online classes is not enough to teach. Okay, so how long the online session was uh, uh, conducted so far, sir? Like, what is the timing of? How long? On is, uh, we can. Uh, we don't know, madam. Uh, but two uh, weeks to act in a few. When they come, uh, we don't know. Okay. There is a main problem. So how long do we can take the session? Well, oh, uh, thank you so much, sir. And if thank you have, you if you have thank to say anything to students and parents.